Ross Harper! Well done, Ross! Well done, Ross! Yeah. Onto our top six. Has anyone got any water? Uh, yeah. So one of those. As I'm running through, running through this jungle, I see faces. I'm looking back at you, back at you, but you won't oh, stop no. chasing. No. Don't make me look back no more. No review, missing. I'm about to fall if I run through all these bad. Go on, Ross. As I'm running through, running through this jungle, I see faces. I'm looking back at you, back at you, but you won't stop chasing. Don't make me look back no more. No review mirrors here. I'm about to fall well if I run through all these barriers. Dad, it. Barriers, don't make me look bad no more. Come on, Try come to on. make me yes, fall. Fifth place is Ross Harper! Well done, Ross! Well done, Ross! Right then, you join me on Thursday evening, uh, just uh, three or four days post the Grafman, which was the English National Middle Distance Championships. So, this is a rough and ready quick review of the race. Um, I'm actually buzzing in terms of how the race went and panned out. Uh, it was pretty much exactly as I kind of expected in terms of effort, performance and how the day played out, uh, particularly uh, obviously with uh, an Ironman in my legs two weeks prior. So uh, as I said before, the race, uh, I picked it because it was fairly close to home. So Amy and I left, uh, got up fairly early and gave ourselves an hour to get up to the Grafen Water and we got there nice and early. Uh, it was a pretty simple drive. Uh, got my bib number, set up in transition and had sort of 30 to 40 minutes to sort of mill about, get the wetsuit on and get ready for the race. I was actually pleasantly surprised by the amount of familiar faces that I saw, not only that were racing, but supporting. There were some names there that I, I hadn't seen for a little while, which was good. And some people that recognized me or that I'd raced before, which was really cool. The weather was fantastic, uh, which was another reason for doing the race. I think it's, this race has, has been a washout previously, but I can say that the conditions were perfect. Uh, the swim, much to my uh, pleasure, and I, I love these, it was a mass start. It was quite a narrow start, so you had to be right in the front to be in the water first, rather than a really wide start line. But the fact that effectively 
the hooter would go off and everyone was given the same start time meant that it was a real race which was uh wicked i'm a big fan of that and the swim was a two loop course which i'm also a fan of because any part of the swim that involves a bit of land-based activity i'm also a fan of but it does give you a really good opportunity to uh, a see where you're at after lap one and get some feedback either from some supporters or yourself by looking behind or in front of you but b it also makes that lap slightly less daunting um, swam just over 28 minutes uh, i think official time 28 17 so pretty happy with that to be honest um, i definitely thought a lot more people had got away and i was way further back than i thought i was but i tried to swim with people rather than try and do a solo effort all the time so i was jumping between feet a little bit and trying to sort of save a bit of energy as and where i could um, the water was amazing that's one thing it was nice and clear you could see the bottom for a lot of it which is nice got out of the water and it's quite a long transition in the sense it's really quick to your bike but then you have to take your bike uh out of the the car park etc and round the back of a cafe so it's a bit technical weaving your bike through jumped on my bike one notable thing here and uh i think danny can back me up here we got the bike at a similar time i went into america mode and i started on the right hand side of the road and very quickly realized that we're meant to be on the left hand side so that was quite funny but yeah got onto the bike um, the course is wicked. Um, I actually think, um, not that the Active Training World should lose the event, but I think this would be a really good middle distance race uh, to race properly if they had closed roads and like a thousand people. Because um, it's effectively four out and backs. Uh, so it's really good as an athlete in the sense you know where you are if you are racing. Um, so the first out and back is relatively short. It's like 4K, 5K out, 4K back. And that was immediately where I knew I was sort of uh, fifth or sixth on the road, um, which was pretty good because I think I got out of the water about 20th. So I'd already made up quite a lot of places in transition. That first transition or first out and back, sorry, I knew Will Cowan was leading, which was pretty obvious. I didn't really know who the other guys were, but I knew of one guy called Grant who uh, Jack Schofield had tipped me off about um, and he wasn't in the initial wave. So I thought that was pretty good in terms of he's someone I know is going to be chasing so uh, i've got out of the water ahead of him let's get the, get our head down push pretty hard on the bike in fairness i think it was a perfect day in the sense of there was quite a lot of wind and it was quite fast to start with because you had a tailwind in lots of places and knew that the back end of the bike would be uh like a bit tougher um and i quite like that and i was looking forward to that made my way up pretty quickly i think about 50 minutes i caught what was second so put myself in second place knew i was never going to catch will cowan but I uh, was pretty happy with that. Um, one of the lads that was riding now in third or fourth came with me for the next 45 minutes or so, which quite honestly, I was quite annoyed about because um, he sort of refused to do any work um, and was at a questionable distance. So yeah, that was a bit annoying. I did at one point effectively just sit right up and I let him go in front of me and I actually let him go 200, 300 meters up the road just to, to mentally reset myself because it was annoying me that much. On the last out and back, there was a left turn off the road and you went up did a turn and came back. As I came back to that junction, uh, as it was open roads, I took a bit of a risk as I could see a car coming, but I knew I could make it and the fellow that was following me couldn't, or at least I hoped he, he wasn't gonna follow me. Uh, and that worked out because it, it meant it snapped the elastic, or whatever you wanna call it. I managed to get away from him and I managed to then ride into transition on my own in second place and have a sort of 90 second gap back to the rest of the field. Um, now the run was the main thing. The run was the, the big thing that I wanted to uh, kind of get the most satisfaction out of shall I say um, so my goal for the run was to have my heart rate at 162 or above and to put that in some context the most recent 70.3s I don't actually do a lot of them um, my heart rate normally averages in the high 150s and I've always been a bit disappointed to some degree with them so I arbitrarily put, picked a number so that was my goal really was the only goal was to get my heart rate to 162 and see if i could sustain it for however long that would last for the run course was two loops but you went out on a flat tarmac bit along the dam which was pretty cool and i could see then how far will was ahead i think it was about eight ten minutes at that point uh, but it also meant again great course for this in terms of athlete feedback you can see where you are in the race if you are at the pointy end in particular and i could see the gaps and sort of manage them myself and I could quite evidently see when I made the turn, I was not going to hang on to second for very long because there were a few people that were running significantly quicker. But that said, I got my heart rate where I wanted to do. I pushed as hard as, as I felt comfortable doing and put myself in that sort of uncomfortable, comfortable place. 
The second part of the run course is actually off-road, uh, and I had been warned of this and given some t hints and tips on this, uh, but it does undulate a little bit. I mean, it's not extreme stuff, and you're not cross-country running by any means, but it is gravelly. It does uh, go up and down a bit. You do get back to some tarmac, but that drops down, and then you do a U-turn, and you have to come back up that part. So the second part of the run loop is definitely more challenging than the first, and you do that twice through. I think I lost second at about 8K in, uh, 7, 8k. Managed to get that far in, but I knew I wasn't going to maintain it. Third, I think, got me about close to sort of 11, 12. And I thought that might be it. I thought I might be able to hold on to kind of fourth place and cruise home. But in the last K, uh, possibly the, the penultimate K, some guy came to hoon in past me. Uh, and I think he only finished about 20 seconds in front. I did manage to pick it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, he, he, he put in a hell of a run spit to c catch up. Overall fifth, that was uh, good enough for third in my age group. So I get one of these nice bronze, med bronze medals from Triathlon England, which is nice. My heart rate did average 162. I think I managed to get it into the 170s in the last couple of K. My highest average heart rate for 90 minutes, I think third time overall and my highest in the 70.3. And I'm pretty confident on fresher legs i can definitely sustain that uh well i can, can definitely sustain it but i'll definitely be running significantly quicker than i was so that's it i've waffled on far too long it's a brilliant event uh that's it enjoy <laughs>